Hey guys, what's happening? Jim here from Clockwork Industries. Client sent me his uh, NZXT H440 case. There's gonna be quite a bit of work done to it, so it's just easier for him to send the case over to me uh, so I can get all the measurements done and everything like that. We're gonna be laser cutting a bunch of acrylic for it. It's gonna get two custom door panels. I've made these in the past. It's uh, all acrylic door panel with trim and then embedded magnets, almost like the door skin I did on Celtic Forge. So there's gonna be one for the front and the back. Uh, there's also gonna be a custom uh, laser cut acrylic uh, motherboard tray. It'll, it'll fill up this whole thing. He wants to replace this uh, bent angle motherboard tray and the attachment piece. Then from the motherboard tray, we're gonna come down with a power supply shroud uh, that'll cover the full inside of the case and fit under this radiator. Uh, I'm also gonna put in a, a floor panel that's flat because there's some dips in here. So I'm gonna put it on standoffs, some acrylic piece on standoffs here so he has a place to mount his pump. The last piece will be a custom acrylic front panel that will hold mounting for this radiator but it'll also block in this bottom part so there's no hole here yeah i think that'll be it so the two door panels motherboard tray power supply shroud floor panel and front panel so as i said there's quite a bit of work so it would have been a there have been a lot of measuring for him to make sure he got all accurate so it's easier just to send the whole case out to me so first thing i'm going to do is tear out this motherboard tray and that's gonna be the starting point. Get the measurements laid out for that, start from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a drill, draw all these rivets and get it taken apart. Now the motherboard is out. I drew a ton of rivets, but I'll probably put it back to uh, probably put the, put it back together with rivet nuts instead. So then I can uh, use screws to attach all the all the uh, panels in. Um, I might actually install a couple of the parts with some of the clockwork case cubes just to get them some solid support throughout. Most probably mostly the uh, actually that's how I might install most of the motherboard and the power supply shroud because. It's just too easy to work off of those that way. That way I don't have to build any interior framing or come up with any kind of unique brackets. It's just really straightforward assembly. What I'm gonna do is measure out this uh, motherboard here so I could cut a piece of the 3 16 white acrylic. I'm gonna laser cut everything for this. Once I have a piece modeled up, I can get it uh, laser cut and installed.
Okay, everybody, that's going to wrap up the video for the uh, H440 mod. Um, so overall, we did two custom door panels, uh, magnetic with uh, trim on them, clear acrylic window. Uh, we did the power supply shroud, black acrylic. Uh, used clockwork case cubes to attach the power supply shroud to the motherboard and the front uh, the power supply shroud to the top of it. Uh, I also painted socket head cap screws. Um, preferably, I would like them to be powder coated, but I don't have a powder coating set up yet, so white paint had to do. Uh, motherboard tray, totally custom out of 316s white acrylic. We also have two solid state mounts, so the way those work is the bolts, I extend it with the bolts. So you mount the solid state to the panel, and then the panel can bolt on because it extends off the side of the solid states. So, um, yeah, overall the two door panels, power supply shroud, SSDs, and the motherboard tray. Um, overall it came up pretty clean, I really like how it looks. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure the client's going to be happy with it. Next up, I believe, is a another uh, NZXT door panel. I'm going to be installing one of the Pro Model window, uh, window upgrades into it. So check be on the lookout for that video. If you guys liked the video, uh, subscribe, like, uh, comment, do all the good stuff. Uh, if you'd like to see the videos done a different way, I'm just trying to I'm trying to figure out the best, the easiest way to do them without taking too much time away from my work. I want to get more to the more direct into just showing you the modding and less like talking in between clips. But if you want some of that, let me know and I'll try to find a good balance of it. I've just been looking for free music online to fill the void for you know doing all the work and everything. This this video had a lot of work in it, so it's going to be interesting to edit. But yeah, if you guys have any uh, you know tips or any uh, anything you, anything you'd like to see done with the way the videos are made, let me know. I'll look into it and see what I can do. Other than that, though, it's going to be a wrap on this one. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video.